So putting in the dehumidifier, pardon the background music, but they really rock out with some beats here. Going for all the way back from Vivaldi to uh, Donna Summer's disco to uh, modern day techno. So, all right, so what do we have here? What do we see here? You see all that wet, all that water and everything like that? And we got quite a bit of water inside here. So all this, we had the unit down last night. We shut it off because we were working on it. And as you can see, water everywhere. This was just the moisture migrating with this unit off, uninsulated, because the warehouse got down to 50 some degrees last night. So all the piping inside condensated water. As you can see, water is dripping down here and here out the sides. This is not the unit leaking. This is not the unit running. This is just atmospheric water from the hot, moist air chilling in the, in the warehouse, as you can see here, that is not heated. So at night when it gets down to the 50s or 60s, it flashes into condensate, moisture. That's just overnight. That's what happens. That's why it's very important to, you have to insulate things when you have great differences in temperature and you have a low dew point or no, a high dew point, and this is the result. You would have a lot of rust and water dripping everywhere if you don't insulate your ducting. Eventually, this will be on 24 seven, never shutting off anyway. There'll always be an airflow going in. It'll be going in at 70 or 80% humidity going in, and it'll be coming out at 30, 40% humidity going out. All right, that was just a quick one for right now.